Where are you, my son, my pal? Today we shall again have a little chat. I wish to tell you that. Now then, not again. I wish you would put an end to this. It is certainly not my idea of bliss. Tell your father I could rather do without his caustic comment, which is most offensively meant. He gives me no respect whatsoever, thinks he is quite clever, which he clearly is not. He speaks absolute rot. Ordinarily, I am as calm as a sage, but today he has aroused my rage. The very notion I said with emotion, you a saint, with annoyance I failed. Stop it, you two, please. End this now. Do cease. Any chance of coming to the crux of the matter, or as usual, are you are your thoughts scattered? N now then, there he goes again. To his level I shall not stoop, or my mind will droop. It would be magic if we could come to the topic. I suppose you don't have a clue, but today our subject is moral values. You need, you proceed. Right and wrong always fight, be it day or be it night. Right calls wrong a naughty babe. Wrong says you are oh so naive. Right's child, calm is sweet little boy, fills right's heart with eternal boy. Joy. Hmm. <laughs> Buddy? Wrong has a little child called guilt. Day by day he grows and built. The day he is born is a sad day indeed, for he reminds wrong of his evil deeds. Days pass by and months and years, one day are one day I realize right's worst fears. Wrong's child guilt is no more. He was found strangled at his father's door. I would like to say in my own way that the father is rather the person who does the deed because the action is his seed. <laughs>